Patrick Avenue. And then we'll take it higher. Alright, what's up, my quesadillas? Today is a very special day. I'm very excited. As you can see already, I'm at the airport, about to fly to see my girlfriend. We've been doing long distance for about a year now. It's actually our anniversary on July 26th. Hopefully, I got that right. I feel the same feeling that I felt. I feel the same feel that I feel back then six months ago when i saw shelly for the first time i have that same feeling i honestly forgot what she looked like i see her on facetime all the time but i don't remember her face in real life i hope it's still cute honestly i got kind of used to long distance i'm chill with just you know facetime calls and stuff like that the only thing is you can't touch that's the sucky part but i got my size for that you know i'm just playing seriously i'm really excited to see my girl these next two weeks should be fun What are you doing? Oh, whoa, that's, you should just keep it like that. You have to walk through here, walk down these ramps, and then we walk to the boat over there. I've never done this before, this is kind of cool. I had to check in my bag because it was too big. I kind of caused a ruckus. That was kind of embarrassing. It's all right though. Just made it to the shithole. Just bought a new suit, got my size on. I might shine my shoes for six bucks actually, hold on. Uh, hold on. Hello. Can I shine my shoes? Yeah, I have that. Now you know? Okay. Gracias. Damn. I guess it was closed. Out of all times, I need a shoe clean. I can't get my shoe cleaned. What kind of shit? Oh, there's another shoe shine place. What the hell? This is the same exact shoe shine place. I wanna go get a shoe shine. Hola. Hola. Can I get my shoes shine? Thank you so much. So, you're Mexican? Yeah. Okay. I'm Japanese. You're living here in El Paso? No, no, I don't live in El Paso. I live in um, California. Oh, okay. Yeah, California. I live in LA uh, about 20 years ago. Oh, really? Wow. Oh. Why did you move here? Because uh, in California, I don't like it anymore. Too many people, it's too much traffic. Yeah. It's too much. Yeah, there's a lot going on. This is why I moved to Denver. Well, I used to live in uh, Colorado Springs, which is an hour south of Denver. Yeah. It's beautiful. I've been learning some Spanish because I got a Mexican girlfriend. Oh yeah? Yeah. This is why you speak Spanish. <laughs> yep. El come manzanas. El come manzanas? Yeah. El come manzanas. It's a nice tennis shoes. Thank you. It's too expensive. Yeah, it was like $150. Yeah. It's expensive. <laughs> yeah. For me, it's too expensive. For me too, for me too. You clean shoes full time? Oh, I can choose uh, three days a week only, not too much. I work in a hotel before. I can't do anything more. No, this is good. This is good. Thank you. Gracias. All right, gracias. All right, got my shoes shined. All right, so Charlie's gonna be here in about 10 minutes. Whew, I'm kinda, kinda nervous. I don't even know. This is weird. This, this feels exactly like the first time. Maybe a little less. Yeah, I don't really feel anything, actually. I feel like, I feel like nothing. I feel nothing. But it's coming. It's coming. I've been talking to this girl for the past six months without seeing each other, touching her, feeling her. Not like that, you know, but you know what I'm saying. We're so close, but we're so far. But now we're close and we're close. This is weird. This is gonna be weird. I'm not even gonna believe that it's real. I'm, I might just slap her, honestly. Might just fucking kick her. I might just beat her up like when she comes just to see if she's real. Like, is this a dream? I don't even know. Kind of feels like a dream. I just got a chicken sandwich at Burger King. I asked for a water too, and I gotta give props to Burger King because every other fast food restaurant, you ask for a water cup and they give you like a tiny baby, a baby cup. They give you like a baby water cup. But Burger King, they hook it up with a big cup filled to the brim, ice cold. Okay, Burger King, I respect that. She's here. She's here. She can literally walk up right here any second. Oh shit. I hear her, they're walking very slowly. Like how I did the last time. Alright, so I bring a lot of clothes. Chili wanted some, so yeah, I'm giving her some of my clothes. Alright, this is look one with the Supreme hoodie. Can you do this for me? Okay. Alright. Oh, I want you to fold it. 
fold it. Yeah, I fold the sleeve. Oh, I thought you meant like... <laughs> I read up so you can fold it and you're like... <laughs> Wait, what? This is Supreme T-shirt Chelly. This is White Shirt Chelly. White Shirt Chelly. There's a back pocket. The shirt has a pocket? I got this in Shimokita Zawa, if you guys don't remember. I remember. I feel like all my clothes look good on you. All my cute clothes you look good in, I feel like. All my cool clothes you wouldn't look good in. What are your cool clothes? My cool clothes are Let like... Let me try one of your cool clothes shirts. Yeah. Oh, it reminds me. Hold up. <gasps> what is that? Little, I got this little gift. What is it? It's a frog! <laughs> is it because you? <laughs> This is the whole outfit. Like this is a. That's kind of like an e-boy looking like thing. <laughs> I don't even know. E-boy chilling. I think I just look like a boy because I have no boobs. Mm. That's why I look nice in your shirts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't. It look just like looks a like boy. me. You don't look like a boy. Are you? No, you look cute. Do you see my boobs anywhere? That has nothing to do with. Well, that's why anything. I look like. <laughs> that's why I look good in your shirts because you're a boy and I have a body of a boy. Yeah. So basically, you're more of a woman if you have the bigger. No, the bigger. not really. Okay. That's... Yeah, exactly. You don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Ooh, I laugh. Stop. Damn, sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I like this whole outfit. Yeah, it's kind of nice. I'm taking it. No, no, not the shirt, not the <laughs> shirt. This is rainbow shirt, Shelly. This one's cute. I like this one, yeah. I think you look better in it. Mm, I honestly don't think I like that good. I, I don't think it matches me. Why? Because I feel like I don't match with like colorful stuff. You do. You look really good in colorful stuff. Actually, you know what? I'm a chameleon. I go good with anything. Oh my, oh my goodness, this again. But yeah, we're in the Airbnb right now, watching a Bob Lazar documentary about Area 51, UFOs. Wait, isn't Area 51 in New Mexico? Wait, are you gonna go raid it? I want to, but... Go raid it with everyone. Go raid it with everyone and yeah. die? Go to jail? Everyone's gonna do it, so... Ruin my entire future? They're not gonna kill everyone. What if they do? What if they don't give a shit? I mean, it goes for a good cause. <laughs> it goes for a good cause? They'll find the alien. You know what Area 51 is? I'm looking it up. Like, I had a, I had a person. I knew someone. You ate a person? No, 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 no. I met someone who did that, and they actually worked like, around, like, the Area 51 department. They told me it's not... E the aliens and stuff, all the aliens and the, the outer space stuff is kind of like, not a disguise, but like, kind of like, like, it's not really about that. It's more about doing like testing and like shit like that. So honestly, I don't even think there's aliens in there. I think it's just like private military stuff. Military <gasps> stuff. The bourgeoisie. <laughs> That's what it's, it's the birds. What kind of shit? All right, well, Chelly just left, went back to her place. Chelly's been gone for two minutes and I already miss her. Today was a long day. It was good seeing Chelly again. Yeah, I'm honestly kind of surprised this relationship's still going. I mean, every girl in my life is not in my life anymore. So, like in the beginning, I kind of just naturally thought, in a year, we won't be talking. But it's almost a year later, and this is the third time I'm seeing her. And I feel like when it comes down to love, you just kind of just, you just gotta choose someone. Love is just a feeling. It's just a chemical reaction in your brain. That chemical reaction is not gonna last for your whole life, no matter who it is. So I think you just gotta choose someone and just kind of stick with it. Just choose a good person who is the best for you. Someone who you can handle for the rest of your life. My mom told me, I love this fucking bullshit. She's always talking about Americans being so like emotional and expressive, but it's all bullshit because, you know, like a couple will be like so in love. She like jumps on them, she misses him and blah, blah. They're kissing, PDA, all this shit. They love each other, goo goo gaga. It's all romantic. And then like six months later, they divorce or one of them cheats. A lot of this bullshit, you know, you can't rely on just that love feeling. It, like at the end of the day, it's kind of like, okay, like you're the, you're the one. You're the one. Like, that's kind of how I feel with Chelly. Okay, not like that. I love her. I love her, okay? I always will love her. But I feel like my love for her, um, not died down, but more like, it's like, mature. I don't know. Oh, like, no, I, I know what it is. Um, It was like some sort of quote I remember. And it was like, love is like a fire. You know, it's very, very passionate, 
very hot, very fiery, very flamey, very flaming hot cheeto -y. And then it develops into coal. It becomes tight and strong and just there, you know, very, very solid. So I feel like that's kind of how it, it is with me and Shelly. I mean, not that like I'm less in love with her, but I just feel like this is like, I choose you. I make it sound like our honeymoon phase is over and it's like boring now, but it's not really like that. I feel like it's long distance, so it's always kind of a honeymoon phase just because, well, the long distance makes it so that every time we see each other, it's a honeymoon. But I do feel like, yeah, I love my girl, but it's just more like, um, it's just more like something I know. Just like my mom, you know what I'm saying? Like she's there. I know she's a part of my life. She's always going to be there. And that's that. That's it. That's kind of how I feel like at this point. It's not really like, oh, I love you, blah, blah. Oh my God, my sweet angel, baby, Jesus. Oh my God. It's not like that. It's just more like, I just know. I'll still tell her I love her, you know? Like if this was any other girl, like I wouldn't like them anymore. Maybe once that spark is over, like I wouldn't like them anymore. But I don't know. I think I just, I think I just love Charlie. No shit. As a person and a personality and I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just like blabbering. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and click the little ding dong to know when I upload. And I like chili. Shall we?